Hi, good evening, everyone. Um, so welcome to Facebook and um, so YouTube Live. This is Dr. Manjunath, your brain performance coach. And um, so today, today I'm going to share some wonderful knowledge related to best brain food. So before that, I just wanted to understand if my voice and my picture, if it is clear, just confirm. And um, so in the chat window, just say A, V, clear, A for audio and V for video. Just confirm. And whoever present in today's live, just confirm A, V, clear. Yes. Welcome, uh, Sophia. Good evening. Shakil Ahmad, good evening. And um, so welcome, Kumar, good evening. Yes, yes. All of you just check my voice and I'll just open my, my video. There is some connection issue. That just let me check. And I hope you are able to hear my voice clearly. Yes. Just give me one minute. Yes. Now, I hope you're able to see me now. Um, so let us start with today's session. And welcome, welcome, everyone. And um, so today, today, I'm going to share a few knowledge related to best brain food, best brain food. So what kind of food you can consume so, so that you can energize your brain, you can energize your cognitive ability, you can enhance your brain ability. So that is a topic today, what I'm going to share. And uh, so that so that you can start um, so consuming those powerful food to energize and um, so and also and also strengthen your brain and neurons. That is the main topic today I'm going to share. And before that, I just wanted to um, explain some disclaimer. Okay, basically all of you uh, keep in mind, I'm not the medical doctor and also I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a qualified, uh, certified dietitian to recommend any book, any food. But what I'm sharing today is based on my experience, based on my learning, and also what I'm following, I'm sharing today. So that is the reason I'm right away. So initially, I'm giving this disclaimer. I'm not a dietitian um, to recommend. But based on my overall experience and my observation, I'm consuming these foods. It, and really, it's helping me to strengthen my brain. So with that, um, so disclaimer, let us get started. And first of all, what I'm going to share, I will just divide into two category. First one, what are the best brain food? And before that, what are the worst brain food? What kind of food you need to avoid? Then what kind of food you need to consume? So these are the two things I'm going to share. And these are like very generic food. So it's available everywhere. But also one more thing I wanted to emphasize, in case, if you have any medical condition, in case, if you are suffering some disease, probably you need to check with your doctor or a dietitian before going to follow my um, so recommendation. So very simple. With that, let me just share my screen and let us get started. OK. Here we go. So. Today, I'm going to share the brain food, especially best brain food. And um, so when you start consuming this brain food, not only your brain, even you will be able to stabilize your overall health. So these are like a very quality, uh, best brain food and healthy food. That's what I consider. Okay, let me just open my mind map. So here, I divide into two area. The first one, I just wanted to explain what are the worst food for your brain. And then I'll go through the best food for your brain. These are the two areas. I just let me um, so focus so that you can understand both positive and negative side of this food based on my understanding. Um, seven um, worst food. First one. All of you carefully observe. And also you make a note. Just make a note. We never know. Even a small, small point can transform your life. The way you um, strengthen your body, mind your health, your cognitive fitness. That's the reason I always suggest when you start attending some kind of a training seminar or a live, please make a note. Please make a note. The first point, the first point. Um, so this is the uh, list of food you need to avoid. And the first one, high sugar content. All, all of you know, all of you know, it's a generic idea. High sugar content, it impacts not only your brain, even overall health. What are those? Few things I listed. One is a diet soda and uh, ice cream, and um, so added and artificial sugars. Donuts contain a lot of deeper level of sugar and saturated fat. Try to avoid. Point number two is processed cheese. Because again, it's not the best food to consume even for your brain. Try to avoid. Sometimes we cannot avoid. Let us take your traveling. 
you are going for a party you cannot avoid but regularly try to avoid this worst um, food and th this will impact your brain point number 3 fried food especially one couple of example i have written here french fries or a deeper level of fried rice something like that try to avoid even fast food fast food is uh, again it is a deep fried food so try to avoid processed and packed food and frozen pie cheese with a frozen pizza these are like a uh, too much uh, saturated fat and um, so that's what strong recommendation to avoid point number 4 is uh, too much red meat and uh, fish i in mercury even some fish uh, so always it is i in mercury try to avoid this will impact your brain um, so ability too much alcohol i think these are like a general con um, so content you already know you already know but try to implement point number 6 uh, is refined breads and pasta and um, strong recommendation because uh, whole card uh, white rice and uh, high carbohydrate and um, so glycemic index are very high try to avoid even many people especially in south india we normally consume lot of rice so it is good in certain limitation if you eat but if you continuously eat back to back because of high carbohydrate right? so all the dietitian they recommend try to minimize so this is what my recommendation and point number 7 refined carbs and foods i in sodium so these are the like a few list of foods which impact your brain ability so just try to avoid minimize in case if you are not able to avoid just minimize this is the first area i just wanted to focus worst food to avoid now let us move on to our favorite topic what are the food you can consume so so that you can strengthen your brain and you can energize your brain and you can you can even energize your cognitive and brain fitness so these are the things i consume regularly let me go through one by one i listed around nine different food so nine strong based brain food first one all of you make a note first one is um, nuts especially i think most of you know walnuts it looks like a um, brain shape walnuts it's a based for your brain why because it contains omega 3 rich content you know right omega 3 and uh, omega 3 is a based for your brain so why best for for your brain let me explain about 60% of your brain is made up of fat and half of that fat is omega 3 and your brain uses omega 3 to build brain and nerve cells and these fats are essential for even learning and memory and which food what kind of food you can find rich omega 3 let me list down and these are the few uh, strong recommendation from my end the first one walnuts and different nuts even i can show you my parameter what normally i follow so i normally keep one let me just put my okay normally keep uh, this is my brain food i al always keep next to me and um, so i have different nuts omega 3 rich food uh, let me show you one few things so this is what i'm talking this is these are like a walnuts it looks like a brain shape and um, it contains lot of rich omega 3 it's a very very good for your brain probably you can consume on a regular basis and even different um, so nuts this is what my brain food uh, normally i usually take this kind of food on a morning and evening so um, this is what my first recommendation to all of you start start um, so the first item here is different nuts let me move on let me share my screen again okay so the point number 2 point number 2 is um, broccoli so broccoli is the next recommendation from my side and um, so even many doctor recommend you can consume broccoli and because there are a lot of lot of advantage uh, consuming broccoli even i'll tell you this broccoli contains vitamin k and other component like anti inflammatory um, so which help you to protect your brain against damage so you can consume um, so broccoli on a regular basis i think most of you most of us we use the broccoli on for some kind of a palya and sambar yes you can use a broccoli on a regular basis it's a good for your brain let me move on to the next one so the next one is point number 3 third best brain food is blueberries i hope so many of you like these blueberries and um, this is another best recommendation from many doctors 
and uh, many brain expert they always recommend broccoli a uh, good for your brain health so help to improve communication between brain cells you know right so our brain is connected uh, with a different cell usually called neural connection it will start from for example today i was sitting and listening my talk so what's happening inside your brain your brain can consist of so many cells it will connect one another form like a neural connection that is a one memory one set of information and this um, so so blueberries blueberries help you to help you to improve your communication help you to improve communication between brain cells one cell one group of cell to another group of cell and based on the research yes even doctor dietitian has um, recommended blueberries as best food for your brain okay let us move on to point number 4 Point number four is even I consider this point. Okay, sleep. Sleep is another best brain food. How many of you realize this? Sleep is another best brain food, and every day at least at least six to eight hours of deep sleep required to understand and improve your cognitive ability. It's a proven. It's a proven. Some people normally uh, just go with um, maybe four to five hours, and um, so they may feel discomfort after they wake up. But strong recommendation is you need to go with at least six to eight hours of deep sleep. Why? During that uh, sleeping process, your brain will do lot of other activity. It's usually called batch process. Some of you, if you're working in an IT company, I think you will understand. Night time we normally run batch process. All the action batch process. Similarly, sleep. whatever you do since uh, morning till evening and that process that information get into long term memory or a delete or do some processing happen during night time so you need a deep sleep even to relax to energize next day morning as soon as you wake up you will be very energetic because all the data is properly put into a certain bucket in your brain so sleep is another best my recommendation to all of you and if in case if you are not following proper sleeping pattern what i recommend we'll go and read one book called why we sleep there is a beautiful book why we sleep in that book author has explained step by step procedure what are the um, so good uh, practice what are the bad practice why we need to sleep beautifully written go and read you will understand why we sleep perfect let us move on to the next point let me share my screen okay point number 5 point number 5 is turmeric i think in our indian context for most of our food we normally use especially in even in south india so we normally use um, turmeric for various uh, different food like um, lemon rice or uh, some sambar we normally use turmeric and turmeric is um, help to grow your brain cells it's all proven it's help you to grow your brain cells try to use turmeric um so in a various food items try to add even pin pinch of turmeric will help you to energize your brain very powerful and strong recommendation from many even so many ayurvedic uh, recommendation just you can try and point number 6 is fatty fish if you are a non vegetarian if you are a non vegetarian you can try fatty fish why because again i already explained so our brain is um, consists of 60% of brain is made of fat especially half of that fat is omega 3 in this fatty fish you could find large amount of omega 3 even some people use uh, um, omega 3 oil extracted from fish so it's the best but i, I would no normally recommend go with a natural fatty fish you like non vegetarian in case if you don't like non vegetarian other option is this one i have already recommended other option is uh, nuts especially walnuts these nuts consist of lot of rich omega 3 you can try if you are a vegetarian and if you are a non vegetarian yes this is my recommendation and you can go and try fatty fish and uh, that will also help you to energize strengthen your cognitive ability let's move on to point number 7 point number 7 is egg so all of you know so egg is one of the ultimate food if you are a non vegetarian if you are eating egg it's a ultimate eggs are good sources of several so nutrients which uh, help you to um, enhance your brain health including so certain vitamin called uh, so b6 and b12 and um, so these are the the best best food for your brain try to consume um, so egg so on a regular basis especially white side that's what many people recommend white of white egg 
so compared to so golden or a yellow just consume more white that's what the strong recommendation so that you can energize your brain okay point number eight best friend food oranges orange is another strong recommended brain food why orange because orange uh, contains vitamin c vitamin c which is key factor in preventing mental decline key factor in preventing mental decline and protect against age related mental decline and also it will avoid um, so alzheimer some kind of memory decline strongly everybody recommend oranges and uh, try to use more oranges even in summer time it's the best best food best um, fruits you can consume and because it contains lot of vitamin c strong recommendation from my side okay last point last best food is uh, pumpkin seeds i think all of you know pumpkin seeds is another best brain food why why pumpkin seeds um, so contain powerful anti axin that protect body and brain is it it's a pro protecting mechanism when you start eating this pumpkin seeds it's available nowadays even if you go to supermarket um so so readily available these pumpkin seeds you no need to go and search for seeds and um so try consume on a regular basis to energize your brain so these are the few list around nine different food i have listed and i am following this i am following these food on a regular basis especially even i showed um so these nuts i kept next to me whenever i feel okay want to eat instead of eating any other food i'll try consuming this kind of nuts let me quickly revise the first one is the best brain food is the nuts different nuts walnuts cashew nuts even ground nuts these are like a best brain food try to consume more and um so if possible second one try eating broccoli and you can use as part of your food so broccoli is a another best brain food and try to consume uh, blueberries blueberries very delicious yes you can go and try and sleep is another best brain food normally i consider it's a food actually food to your brain because when you when your brain relax when your brain energized you can do a lot of things so 6 to 8 hours of deep sleep and even some people also normally um, sleep for 5 to maybe 6 7 hours and if you know certain other concept you know like yoga nidra if you know yoga nidra so that you can compensate but if not so try to sleep 6 to 8 hours and turmeric another best brain food try to use turmeric in various different food item so that um, so you will see some changes next fatty fish if you are <clears throat> non vegetarian you can try this also consists of lot of omega 3 rich um the content it will be very very useful for your brain egg you know already it's not only for brain even your physical health it is a very very good for your brain oranges yes good for your brain health and last one is a pumpkin seeds it's available in supermarket and try to consume and uh, whenever you are comfortable so these are the nine different items i wanted to suggest and now what you can do is <clears throat> go and explore and try to con consume on maybe a regular basis and also whenever you get a chance try to consume these foods and again one more disclaimer before consume in case if you have any medical condition please consult your dietitian and understand your body and mind then you start consume so that's what my strong recommendation otherwise i'm using i'm using on a regular basis i feel uh, some kind of alert active and um, strong the way i think way i conduct because i think all of you know i keep conducting back to back session um, so from morning 5:30 till evening and i'm able to um, so relax immediately so i started eating this kind of food and exercise relaxation meditation deep breathing and these are the um, best 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 brain activities when you start doing and brain is one of our main component in our body main central processor unit and when you con control this brain and uh, adopt some of the best practices yes you can uh, energize your brain you can improve your cognitive fitness you can improve your memory focus concentration overall brain health once you started upgrading your brain remaining your body will be energetic then you can grow much faster whatever you do you are a professional you are a business owner you are trainer coaches or you are a housewife definitely you can grow much 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 faster in your area so that's what my quick update today in this live i hope you got some value i hope you got some value all of you typed on the chat window you got some idea about the best brain food i thought today let me share this knowledge so that you can start working on that so again knowing knowledge is not enough i keep talking this point just knowing some knowledge is not enough one of the main idea here is 
you need to go and apply application is a very important taking action is the critical all of you so when you start learning this kind of concept go and implement implement you will see magical transformation personally i'm doing that what am i am learning i'm immediately i'll try to apply in my life i'm seeing a really good result because of this action a strong suggestion to all of you please 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 go and take action then you will see magical improvement growth in your career or a professional journey with that thank you so much uh, friends for um, so joining today's live if you are watching through facebook or youtube go and like go and like and um, and also share share to your friends and family members and uh, start spreading this kind of knowledge this is kind of a healthy knowledge everyone has to follow it's not just like a one person everyone so that we can build a positive ability positive community around us our health our fitness our relationship career and spirituality we can build such a positive vibration with that thank you once again and uh, for uh, watching my live i'll meet you in the next uh, next thursday where i'll come up with some new topic till that point good night um, thank you so much and i'll meet you in the next session all the best